piteous. Harry and Meghan got the picture of hanging on throne but Queen aggressively cut to the quick. The Queen has turned down an annual award honoring the oldie of the year because she believes you are as old as you feel. The awards, hosted every year by the oldie, a magazine targeted at the elderly, celebrate the lifetime achievements of notable old people with past recipients including Mary Berry and Amanda Barry. In a letter addressed to the magazine, the Queen's secretary said, Her Majesty believes you are as old as you feel, as such the Queen does not believe she meets the relevant criteria to be able to accept, and hopes you will find a more worthy recipient. The letter has been met with praise from fans of the royal, with one person describing her as the Queen of Sass. Our monarch says little in public, but when she does say something, it's worth listening to. Another person wrote. A third person commented, I love this. Damn right, your, majesty. Age is nothing but a number. However, royal biographer Angela Levin said the Queen refusing the accolade could be a hint she is not going to step down from her duties. Ms. Levin tweeted, I think that the Queen's comment that you are as old as you feel is also a nudge to let us all know she is not going to step down as monarch. In an earlier post, the royal author praised Her Majesty for her comments as she politely turned down the award. Ms. Levin said, Absolutely wonderful. The Queen is absolutely spot on. Author and broadcaster Giles Brandreth, chairman of the awards, wrote to the Queen's private secretary, Sir Edward Young, to ask if she would accept the Oldie of the Year trophy. But in a published letter, her assistant private secretary, Tom Langbaker, wrote, Her Majesty believes you are as old as you feel, as such the Queen does not believe she meets the relevant criteria to be able to accept, and hopes you will find a more worthy recipient. The Duchess of Cornwall joined Mr. Brandith for the Oldies Awards ceremony at the Savoy Hotel in London on Tuesday. Mr. Brandreth said that actress Dame Maureen Lipman, one of the judges, raised the prospect of the magazine honoring the Queen in recognition of her leadership during the coronavirus pandemic and ahead of her Diamond Jubilee. He described the letter he received from Balmoral Castle in response as lovely, writing, Perhaps in the future we will sound out Her Majesty once more. In the end, the main oldie of the year award went to French American actress and dancer Leslie Caron who at 90 is five years younger than the Queen. Former England footballer Sir Jeff Hurst, 79, won the oldie golden boot of the year and Cook Delia Smith, 80, was honoured with the truly scrumptious oldie award. In a speech, Camilla, 74, joked about the downsides of ageing, saying, I think those of us who have already passed our three score years and ten have to acknowledge that there are certain disadvantages to growing older. She added, there are times, I know, when we all experience those senior moments. But there are advantages to growing older, to, watching one's children growing up, enjoying one's grandchildren, knowing that they'll be going home after the visit, finding more time to read, finding time to read the oldie, and coming to jolly lunches like this one. The Queen, who is just five years away from her 100th birthday, is the nation's longest training monarch. She is due to celebrate her Platinum Jubilee, 70 years on the throne, next year. The head of state still keeps a busy diary of events and audiences and deals with her daily red boxes of official papers. The late Prince Philip was named Oldie of the Year in 2011 to mark his 90th birthday. The Duke of Edinburgh joked in a letter, There is nothing like it for morale to be reminded that the years are passing, ever more quickly, and that bits are beginning to drop off the ancient frame. But it is nice to be remembered at all. Right.